What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jordan and today we're gonna to be running a little bit of a fun and interesting experiment here in the garage. We're gonna find out if ChatGPT can help us fix our car. Now, as somebody with a project car and someone who works on their car themselves, there's been plenty of times when there's something wrong with this car or one of my other cars and I really don't know what the issue is. You can see the symptoms of the car, maybe it's not driving so good or it's making a weird noise but you don't know what options there are for what could be the cause of those problems. So we're gonna use a AI software named ChatGPT, which is basically a chat room with a robot. You type in your problem, you type in the symptoms, and it spits out the possible answers to your questions. So we're gonna find out if ChatGPT is good enough to solve an issue with the car. This might be one of the biggest revolutions in AI technology since Google search. So in the future, instead of typing your problems into Google search and scouring forums and websites and YouTube videos to find your answer, you might just be able to ask chat GTP. So let's get into it. All right, so we've identified that there's an issue with the car. We have a weird noise coming from the front suspension. So let's see what chat GPT has to say for us. First thing you need to do is take out your phone open up the website chat.openai.com, fill out the forms, and then type in the problem. There could be a few different things that could be causing a clunking sound from the front passenger side of your car when you go over a bump. Some possibilities include 1. A damaged or worn suspension component, such as a strut or control arm. 2. A loose or damaged brake caliper. 3. A problem with the ball joints. 4. A problem with the wheel bearings. To determine the cause of the clunking sound, it would be best to have a mechanic inspect the front suspension and brakes of your car. They should be able to diagnose the issue and recommend the necessary repairs. There you go. So first reactions are that all the suggestions, I think they make sense. I mean, for me, I had an issue with my uh, ball joints going out when I first got this car and that was one issue for me for a uh, clang in the suspension. And of course, it's gonna suggest that you go to a mechanic. It can't take all the responsibility for giving you these answers, but I don't know, pretty convincing. And uh, I definitely think that these answers are something to consider. As these cars and any car starts to age, all the things in the engine bay start to deteriorate. Things like these little rubber hoses, sensors galore. Sensors are actually one of the biggest failure points for cars from the 1990s and up. This car is a little bit older, but basically when sensors wear out and different tubes and stuff wear out, one of the first symptoms is black or white smoke coming out of the tailpipe. And the reason for that is because when all of these little tubes and sensors wear out, the air fuel mixture and the internal computers aren't working properly to give you a proper gas to air ratio. And so what does ChatGPT suggest are the leading causes of this issue? There are several potential reasons why your car could be spitting black smoke out of the exhaust pipe. Here are a few possibilities. 1. The engine is burning too much fuel. This can be caused by a variety of things, such as a malfunctioning fuel injection system, a clogged air filter, or a vacuum leak. 2. The engine has low compression. If the engine has low compression, it may not be able to burn fuel efficiently, which can cause black smoke to be emitted from the exhaust. 3. The engine has a damaged valve. If a valve is damaged, it may not be able to properly control the flow of air and fuel into the engine, which can cause black smoke to be emitted from the exhaust. 4. The engine has a damaged cylinder. If a cylinder is damaged, it may not be able to properly compress the air and fuel mixture, which can cause black smoke to be emitted from the exhaust. It's important to diagnose and fix the problem as soon as possible, as continuous operation of a vehicle with one or more of these issues can cause further damage to the engine. I recommend taking your car to a mechanic for a thorough inspection and diagnosis. Now, if I was just an everyday person trying to figure out if my car is broken and there's black smoke coming out, I'd be pretty concerned with the suggestions that ChatGPT gave me, but I still think it was kind of right. All the things that I mentioned that could possibly be wrong were true. So if there's black smoke coming out of your car, take it to a mechanic. But if you want to diagnose it yourself and figure out all the many possibilities, ChatGPT is going to make you a good list of things to investigate. So unfortunately, these cars are getting older, and as time goes on, manual transmissions are on the way out, clutch pedals will be a thing of the past, and the amount of people that know how to fix these things is going to get smaller and smaller. So if we're having an issue with our manual transmission car, can ChatGPT help? 
There are several potential causes for a manual transmission car not going into gear when the clutch is depressed. Some possible causes include 1. Low or dirty transmission fluid. If the transmission fluid is low or dirty, it can cause the gears to not engage properly. 2. Clutch linkage or cable problems. If the clutch linkage or cable is damaged or out of adjustment, it can cause the transmission to not engage properly. 3. Clutch hydraulic system problems. If there is a problem with the hydraulic system that operates the clutch, it can cause the transmission to not engage properly. 4. Worn or damaged gears. If the gears in the transmission are worn or damaged, it can cause the transmission to not engage properly. 5. Synchronizer problems. If the synchronizers, which help to match the speed of the gears to the speed of the engine, are damaged, it can cause the transmission to not engage properly. It's best to have a professional diagnose and fix the problem, as trying to repair a manual transmission can be difficult and dangerous for those who are not experienced in doing so. Well, you heard it here. It's right. All the things that it said, it's right. And just from the tap of my finger, I just asked the question and there it is. In the past, I would have to search forums and look for articles and read and it would take forever. So I think chat GPT is pretty cool. And uh, if I'm ever under the car with a problem I don't know how to solve or if, I, if I'm looking for uh, a torque spec or something, it's just at the tip of my fingertips. So I hope ChatGPT can help you guys out when you're building your car. And I don't know. I think it's pretty cool. Let me know what you think down in the comments. And if you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. And see you next time.